Martin Chuck, PGA Director of Instruction at Tour Striker Golf Academy in Gilbert, is the recipient of the Southwest PGA Teacher of the Year uh, Award for his outstanding performance as golf teacher, innovator, and coach. In 2011, after a 16-year career as a PGA General Manager and head golf professional, Martin started the Tour Striker Golf Academy, which provides camps and one-on-one -on -one individual instruction for juniors, adults, college, and professional players, and coaches from around the world. Martin has consulted and taught PGA Tour winners, Ryder Cup members, President's Cup members, and major champions. He developed a line of training products used by coaches and players worldwide. One of his products, the Plain Mate, was awarded the best new product at the 2020 PGA Merchandise Show. A native of Toronto, Canada, Martin has been named one of Golf Magazine's top 100 teachers and one of Golf Digest's 50 best teachers in America. He regularly mentors young professionals and coaches by inviting them to shadow any of his golf schools. Ladies and gentlemen, the Southwest PGA Teacher of the Year, Mr. Martin Chuck. I've never met Martin Chuck, heard a lot about you. And Likewise. What a what a story to tell. Yeah, yeah, I met him. I gave him an award, <laughs> Teacher of the Year. I sat on stage and got to pick his brain a little bit. So what an honor for me. Um, so first, you know, congratulations. That, that's a, it's a big award. You know, for the first 18 years of your career in, the, in golf, you served as the PGA General Manager and Head Golf Professional before starting Tour Striker. Um, what is, uh, what's, what's about, what is it about your passion for teaching that led you uh, to create such a major shift in your career from management to teaching the game? My wife. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, honestly, I think, I mean, I, lo I love being a club professional and general manager. I think the, um, I, I always love the game. I always love teaching the game. And my mentors in Toronto, mm -hmm. a fellow named Ben Kern and a, a great a player named George Newton, many of you might have remembered. So I always loved it. Started teaching when I was 16 years old. I'm 53. I've been doing it a long time. But the, I love the teamwork of being a club guy, being a GM, building a program, having great events, leaving nothing for the members to you know, go, hey, what was wrong with that event? Nothing was wrong with that event. It was a great event. But I always loved teaching golf. And so one day my wife said, she said, you know, why don't you just teach? Why don't you start a golf school? And so 11 years into it now, here we are. Awesome. So, so yeah. what's been the biggest adjustment for you in, regarding, uh, in regards to being in the traditional role of the green grass operation to teaching? Was it just an easy, easy transition? You know, I would say it wasn't bad. I enjoyed it. I think the, uh, I, get a, I get a massive kick. Uh, people always say, who do you like to teach, like tour players or, or beginners? And I honestly love teaching newbies how to hold the club well and walk into the ball nicely, waggle the hit their first couple of fun shots and see that expression on their face. And, and I think back to when I was a kid, my dad, my, my uncle, my, my coach, George Knudsen, uh, like I think a Mike Hebron, Gary Wyron. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many guys that, that were inspirational to me. Uh, Mike LeBeau, a section yeah. phenom here, uh, coached me up in college a little bit. Like lovely guys, every coach was, they had the same theme, they, they cared. Like, to a, to a one, they cared. They wanted you to do better. The ones that were impactful were, you know, were hard in a loving way. You know, they, they meant something, they, and they wanted you to do well, and, that, and that's my goal. Awesome. So what is it about teaching students, no matter what their skill level is, um, that makes you wake up in the morning and say, I can't wait to do this, to teach as a PGA professional? Mm. Every day, I, you know, it's funny, I, get, I go to bed at night and go, thank you, God, that was a great day. You know, get up in the morning, go to work, get on my car, and I'm like, let's go. And, and, it's, and sometimes I don't know who the students are going to be. They come in from out of town, or I do a golf camp. I'm day two of three-day camp right now. I do it every week. And every week I get new faces from wherever they come in from, and it's a blast yeah. to get to know them and to see what their journey is. Hey, what do you do for a living? You know, what's your goals? What are your handicaps? Um, you know, I've always sliced it. Okay, let's, let's organize, let's explain why that is. And then when they leave, they've got, they've got a plan, and that's all people want. They want to, you know, hit a little bit better, have a little bit of a plan. And to, to be able to do that, and that's such a blessing. Sure. Like every day I get to do that? Are you kidding me? 
Can I get paid to do that? It's and to not be the complaint department with something's wrong yeah. on the golf course or the restaurant. I mean, right? you're right. You know, That's when that I was guy GM, in there going there. I'm just teaching you know, you know, my buddy Mitch Harrell's in the room. He takes a lot of it, right? <laughs> Mitch has been doing it forever. And, it's, and, and Mike and all the, all the guys from Troon. And, of course, Dana has never heard a complaint in his life, right? Yeah. But, you know, to, uh, to handle that with class and to kind of smile and listen and nod and go, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm, we got you. <laughs> you know, and I don't have to do that so much as a golf coach anymore. Sure. You know, talking a lot about mentors tonight again. Yeah. Who were some of your mentors uh, before you became such a great teacher? Uh, you know, my, uh, I would say a PGA a National Winner of the Year, Bill Eschenbrenner was one. You know, so El Paso Country Club. Uh, Mike had experience there. Yeah. And um, Bill was great. Um, Herb Wimberly was New Mexico State PGM. Um, he was fantastic. Ben Kearney's gone now. Uh, George Knudsen. You know, my family, obviously. So, yeah. Awesome. Um, you know, what caught my eye about reading your bio is you welcome any PGA professional to come in and shadow you. Anytime. Which I think is tremendous. It's very generous. Why is that important to you? Uh, you know, young guys, I think they need a um, little kick in the pants once in a while. Yeah. They need to be, like, I've made enough mistakes to where I can say, hey, let's, if you're going to build a program, you, you got to make a living. Right? You love the game, fine. Let's make a living. This is how you're going to make a living, how you're going to make a few dollars. Um, you, you can make a good living in this game if you do the right things and work hard. And I always say, you know what? Let's outwork some people. Let's be smarter. Here's a few tricks I've learned along through the years. And everybody in this room can teach. You know, they all know how to put their hands on. And, but it, there's a few different s simple things of creating relationships. It's, it's not transactional. It's more relational. And if you can create those relationships, and some of technology now, I always used to joke, I always say I won't be out teched. But the thing about it is now with technology, it allows you to stay in touch with people really easy. Yeah. And through that, those relationships, people come back to the golf camp, come back for lessons. And, and that's cool. And that's what's making friends in this silly game. We chase a white ball around. Sure. Right? And that's, that's good fun. Well, I think it's brilliant. You let people do that. Yeah, I, I look back several times in my career. If I could go back 30 years, and give about 500 people a do-over sure. on the way I taught back right, then. Right, right. You know, as, as in, we were called apprentices back then. Yeah. I would do it all over again. So uh, I'm just, I'm so happy to hear that you share your knowledge base with others. So you developed a line of training products throughout your career. But technology always evolving. How beneficial has it been utilizing video and technology, um, like TrackMan with your students? Yeah. And where do you see it going in the future? You know, it's great, like the, the device in your pocket is just getting better and better and better. And now these cameras, I, you know, we, I, I used to roll a refrigerator out on the driving range years ago that if it fell on you could kill you. I remember that. Right? And so yeah. now it's an iPhone on a tripod with a wireless mic every day, and it's an iPad, and it's a couple of apps I use. And then at the end of the day, it all goes to the cloud, and the people get it, and they can watch, and they can respond back to you. So there's so many ways now. And a lot of people are like, hey, like even a young guy came out yesterday to shadow. And he goes, what, is that? what are you doing right there? I said, okay, I'm, I'm 53, showing a 28-year-old about an app right now? Like, come on, dude. <laughs> like, but here, let me show you how this works. Yeah. Right? I felt all like smart, because I'm showing some young guy who should know how to use an app, how to use an app. Sure. 53 is not that old. No, good point. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, what, what, a, what a great award. I know so Thank many you. people want to be recognized for what they do in teaching the game. I know so many people want to make that transition from operations to being uh, what you do for a living. Congratulations on your career path Thank you. um, and your name and your brand and everything you do. I, and I say this to all the award winners, it just elevates everyone when you've got people like you in the section that continue to do what you do and well, move I'm, the needle. I'm honored, you know, like final thought is like, I'm sort of like 11 years in the section, I haven't been that involved. My wife's like, you need to get more involved in the section because at one time I was, NorCal and Southern Cal and yeah. you know, now I'm here and hopefully I can my kids will get a little bit bigger and not be interested in hanging out with us anymore, and I can spend more time with you guys. So, Well, that's my soapbox. Get involved. You won't regret Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Well, congratulations Thank tonight, you. and I look forward to seeing more of what you do in, in the area of teaching as we Thank move you. forward. Appreciate it.